Morning. Working on a horse stable, been converted into a two bed cottage. And here is a faulted ceiling. They're not the easiest of jobs. So I've got 50 mil insulated plasterboard and then it's gonna be skinned. Right, so, basics. For beginners, not for advanced plasters. I'm talking about new guys, girls, who are coming into the trade and a little bit, maybe say it, lost. Because not many people are willing to show their stuff to anyone. You know, so all I've got is a plastic hook. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't even know what it is, but it is, it is a brand, you know. Nothing expensive, plastic handle, you know, Marshalltown hook. It's, I'd probably say it's about 18 inch. You know, I don't use the real long ones. It's, it's, the only time I use the long piles is, uh, is when I'm using this. So this is the uh, 18 inch ultra sand. So this is 18 inch, so this one must be 16 inch. Yeah, so that's 16 inch, 18 inch ultra. The flex trial, I only use this, right, to to level it, to trial it after I put this, put it on with this. So basically, right, I'll put my first coat on with a Martian Town trial, steel, yeah, stainless steel, doesn't last. Right, once I've done all that, brushing the corners, I'll then use the flex to flatten it, okay? Or, I'll use my nylon, this, to flatten it. You know, so if I'm going across like this, yeah, or I can go down, or I can go from the bottom up. The same as when you put it on with your trowel. You can start from the left, go to the right, or if you're left-handed, you can start from the right and go to the left. It doesn't really matter. You can start from the bottom, and go up to the top, or you can go from the top and go to the bottom. The same principles when you're doing a floor. You know, everyone says, oh, there's a certain way of doing it. You just put it on from the bottom and you go up, go across, and then you come to the top and go down. It doesn't really matter how it goes on, as long as it goes on, right? If you want to start in the middle, start in the middle, work way to the left, and go all the way around. It doesn't matter. As long as it gets on the wall, that's all it can. you get a lot of guys, that will come in, mix up, and bash it on as quick and as fast as they can. Right, that's, that's normally the guys that you get on site. Fair play, they're on a price, they want to earn as much money as they can. Realistically, you know, on, on sites today, you could probably earn an average on your own these, and that isn't when you're trying to kill yourself, you know, between 180, 250 a day, right? If you've got a labour with you, you can probably make between 200 to 300 pound a day on price. Okay, if there's a gang of you and there's two of you on a trial, we can knock this out in one hit. All of it in one hit, done. Be done in half a day. Yeah, that's when there's two plasters. Right, but when you're on your own, like me, yeah, so what I'll do is I'll get that end on, this on and the opposite behind you, you can't see. All right, I'll start over there, then I'll work my way around here, and then I'll put this on. Now, I would show you how it's done, but it's gonna eat up my battery on my phone, and I don't really want to do that at the minute. I'm not in that position where a lot of these YouTubers, you know, who've got all the gadgets and spend all day recording themselves doing shit. Okay, this is educational stuff, this is something that you can learn. <sighs> so, I'm gonna mix up, I'll show you just what I do to mix up, right? I'll use just just under two bags, there's 50K there, 25, 25 kilos per bag. The average coverage is about 10 square meters, right? Two coats. So your first coat will go on at two mil, your second coat will go on two mil, so in total there's about four mil. Of plastering okay um, always always do two coats okay now here you got to take the board 
So what I tend to do is I plaster the tapered areas first, right? And then I'll skim the whole wall or the ceiling. The reason why I do that is that because of the tape, it's designed for tape and joint, okay? So you, you fill out the joint, you smooth it off, level with the plasterboard, yeah? So the reason why I skim it first is because I don't want to get that ripple effect. Now, I was saying that I put on with this, I then flatten it with that, okay? And then I'll quickly go over with this before I put my second coat on. Now on site, you don't have time to do that. You will literally put on with this. I've known some guys to put on with that. Not recommended, but they do. I've even seen some people put on with the plastic. Definitely not recommended, but I've seen it done. Right, now this, the only time I use this is when, so I'll put on with my 16 inch Marshall Tan first. The same method as I do with the first coat, it's exactly the same method as I do with the second coat. I put on with this, okay? I flatten it with my nylon. Then I go over with that. For my first coat, my second coat, I put on with this, then I use this to then flatten it, but I only do it once. Then I use my plaz, and I'll do that twice. So, putting on, one, two, three. Three trial ups is all you need. You don't need to do four, or five, or six, though it has been done, and I'm not gonna be hit critical because I've done it myself. Sometimes you wanna buff it up and get it nice and shiny because it looks good. So, that is my method. The, the plaza is perfect for your last three trial ups because all you're doing you, you're just flattening it when, when, once you're flattening with your ultra your ultra flex or you're still some old school plaster still put on with this and finish with this even i do sometimes but for quickness sometimes and for less pressure on your, your wrist you know you, you make life easier for yourself and you have to adjust with the times okay now you're gonna get everyone Everyone say, oh, I wouldn't do it that way, I'd do it this way, that's fine. You're gonna find your own technique, your own method, like I did. I was shown so many different ways. I was shown, put it on from there and go all the way that way. And do it this way, on walls and on ceilings, you know? But if you're methodical, methodical about the thing, but if you're methodical in the way that you do things, it will become easier. The whole point is, is making life easier for yourself. Now we've gone in eight minutes into this. Right, I'm now gonna mix up. I'll show you how I mix up. And then how I put on my hook. Right, and then I'll turn my video off because then I need to get on with my work, okay? This is purely just to show those who are a little bit unsure on what trials to use or what methods to, to, to do. Just a little tip, that's all it is, okay? I don't know what he is commenting on here saying, oh, I wouldn't do this, nothing wrong with one coat. You, you do whatever you want to do. If you want to put on one coat, you do it as your conscious, as your choice. You've made that choice. No one else has made that choice for you. Me, personally, I will always do two coats regardless. Right. Now, you notice I put bonding around here. Well, last night I was here. I didn't get away till, I think, about three o'clock. Okay, the day before I was working quite late. So I put the insulation board on and, and because of the stable is being so it's so uneven, I've had to build out the beads to make it level so when I skim it it'll look nice, okay? If you're wondering what that is. So here's my alpha drill. It's a 110 drill, very, very powerful. It can mix cement up as well as plaster, anything it can mix up. I recommend this to anyone. Um, they're not cheap. If you're a beginner, you know, just get a, a, um, a Fox um, drill or just a cheap drill to start you off with. But if you can't afford what that is, uh, but when you do come into 
you know, you start earning some good money, I definitely recommend these, you know. Built a bit heavy, but it does the job. But what the fuck's that going? So your bucket trowel. When you're mixing up, clean around the edges and put it in, okay? So, on the bag of plaster, you'll get a lip on the end. Put it right off, right? I've seen, believe it or not, I've seen people struggle to open these bags up. Top, rip it right off, pour it all in. This is your first point. All goes in. Now, keep your bags, right? If you wrap them around this, you can then use these rubber bags later on when you get your waste product. Okay? Quick little mix. It's like baking a cake. Right, now the gauge. In here, a whole bucket, a whole bucket of water. So this will do two whole bags. The mixing bucket is 75 litres. You know, if you're on your own, I started off with, when years ago, I started with a small bucket to mix up in this. And as your confidence builds and you get better at what you do, you go to a bigger bucket. <laughs> now if you're on your own, rest it on your knee and just pour it in. Bucket trial straight in, then around the edges. On your drill, the leg that goes down, scrape that off as well. Then you don't want a thick mix. And you don't want a runny mix either. You want it. You want it to be Now, if you've got a label going with you, he'll be doing this and you'll still be mixing up. So, remember, there's two whole packets there, now we're going to the third. Just pour it in gradually. You don't put too much water in, then you've got to open up another bag. I want two whole bags in here. So, two whole bags, 25k bags, multi finish.
Always, always clean your drill after every mix. All you want is just a brush. Tap the trigger. Don't be happy. You know, trigger happy. Just let it tap it, give it a rinse. Job done. Don't put things in your way. Now, where I bonded, I'm just going to spray it with a bit of water because you can PVA it, but then you've got to wait for, it, for PVA to dry. If you want to get on, just wet it with water and it'll stop it from drying off too quick when you're putting on. So, there you have it. Just my tip for today. I've seen a lot of people use these, uh, the plastics, plazas for putting on. I, I seriously, I don't recommend that. And if I had anyone working for me, that, that would never be allowed, whatever. You know, because when you're putting on, <coughs> it doesn't flatten it, okay? What happens is you get ripples. Okay, same as when you put on too fast and use too much water with your trailer, you get stagnant, where you go, yeah. It ripple effects, and the, sound, the paint will be there all day trying to sand it all down. So I wouldn't recommend using them only to finish on the last two, three trial ups. That's it. Use your steel, stop flattening. <coughs> And in this trade, never be pushed to uh, to be rushed, you know? Just take your time. You don't need to kill yourself in this trade. People feel they have to, because, you know, they're being pressured by the person who's uh, giving them the work around. You do what you do, and that's it. And the reason why I say that is because you will have a perfect job and you will be satisfied. So don't, don't rush everything to try and please others. Please yourself, that's all that matters. And as long as you're heavy, as long as you're happy doing what you're doing, that's all that matters, yeah? Plastering isn't the easiest try to pick. If you've got a plumber and they say, yeah, that's, that's complicated, but you know, it's, it's physical, but not as physical as this. You know, all the trays, brick laying here, you've got manual lifting and you're working outside mainly in that bit. You can stop whenever you want. Every plasterer knows, once you mix one of them up, that is it. You are committed from start to finish. You can't just piss off and go for a five minute fag or go for a, a drink down the pub like a lot of them do and they come back and it's going off and then they're swearing. You are committed for the next three to four hours of getting it all on. When you can relax is when you've trailed all up and it's flattened and it's ready for the set go. Then you can have a cover, then you can have a pony, then you can do whatever you want, right? But once you're doing that first coat, the second coat, you are committed in them hours, okay? So, good luck. Hope you like the video. Like and share whatever it is you want to do. And uh, I'll catch you later.